So about 12 years ago, when I arrived here as vicar, I started a festival and we invited local businesses to sponsor us. And one of the local businesses was a big oil company. And about a month before the festival, somebody came, a young member of the congregation came and said, Giles, can I have a coffee with you? And I said, yes, of course. So we had a coffee and we had a nice chat. And eventually she said, Giles, why are we taking money from a fossil fuel company? And I said, what, what do you mean, what money? She said, the sponsorship for the festival. And I said, well, they're a local business, they're supporting us. And she said, yeah, but do you not know about the connection between fossil fuels and climate change? And I said, yeah. But then she showed me a graph and kind of explained to me, this was back in 2009. And that was kind of the first time that I really made the connection between carbon and climate change. At about the same time, I was beginning to think about how we would renovate the church. We've built in sustainability right from the very start. Climate change is it's a matter of justice because the people who are suffering most are the poorest and they did the least to cause it. And so we have both a creation imperative but also a justice imperative to do what we can right now. The story that motivates me most is the parable of the sower because even though lots of the seed fell on the ground and died, the seed which fell on the good ground gave fruit 30, 60 or 100 fold. And it seems to me that at times when things are quite dark and you wonder whether you're really making a difference, I remember that some of the good seed fell on the ground and that really, really produced fruit. And so that's what kind of keeps me going, both in terms of activism, but also in terms of climate change and biodiversity. Every month that passes makes it more urgent that we take the actions that we need to take, policies and procedures which are coming from governments around the world, it feels as though not enough change is being made, so I do have real fear about the future. I have to be honest about that. But I also have a lot of hope, and I remember what I think it's Martin Luther said, which is, if I was told the world was going to end tomorrow, I would still plant my apple tree today. My prayer is always for wisdom. My prayer is always for knowing what the right thing to do is. And my prayer is always for energy, especially in this as well, because we need to work hard to make the changes to achieve net zero. We all need to work hard together. Mm -hmm.